Hi, it's Greg at Vanguard Motor Sales. Today I've got a 71 Nova. This thing has got a beautiful paint job on it. Let's check it out. If you've caught us on eBay and you're looking for the pricing on our cars, go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. All the prices for our cars are there on our website, and it's also the reserve price on eBay, so it's the exact same price. Or you can just call Tom at 248-974-9513. He'd love to talk to you about the cars. Here at Vanguard, we've got over 30,000 square feet of indoor storage and over 120 muscle cars for sale. We buy about 35 cars a month, so the inventory changes quite often. If you like us on Facebook, you'll get a notification the minute we buy a car. That's one of the first things we do when we buy a car. We post it on Facebook to let everybody know. We actually sell a lot of cars that way. Also, like us on your, or make us one of your favorites on your computer too, because you need to check us out often. We've always got something cool going on here. One of the things that people always ask is, where do you get all these cool muscle cars? Well, we get them from customers like you. People call us when they've got cars for sale, when they want to trade cars, and also when they find cars for sale. If you've got a friend who has a car for sale and it's a high quality muscle car, give us a call with that phone number, and if I buy that car, we'll pay you 200 bucks. We encourage you to come visit us here at Vanguard. If you're from out of town flying to Detroit Metro Airport, call Tom at 248-974-9513. We can send somebody down to the airport, pick you up. It's only about a 20 minute ride. We're right here in Plymouth, Michigan, and you can come out and check out all these cars. After buying thousands of cars and talking to thousands of people about them buying cars, we've developed seven deadliest mistakes to buying a muscle car online at ClassicCarBuyingSecrets.com. You can go to our website and check it out and download it free. Check it out. It's some good information. All right, we're out here with the Nova now. This thing is sweet. It's got beautiful paint on it. Hey, if you want to see about 100 pictures of the car, go to our website at VanguardMotorSales.com. We're going to put it up on the left. We're going to take about 100 pictures of the car. We're going to get underneath the wheel wells. We're going to get underneath the car. We're going to get under the hood, in the interior, in the trunk. We'll show you everything you need to see so you can make a really good choice on your muscle car investment. So come on up here. Let's take a look at this beautiful car. As you can see, it's got a beautiful front bumper. The grill looks great. All the trim up here looks beautiful. Uh, they did a wonderful job spraying this metallic paint. It's nice and even. The metallics just jump in there. All the body gaps look good. The trim around the windshield's beautiful. I really love the uh, weld lightweight racing rims on this car. The uh, gap here looks good. The doors operate nice here. It's even got the buzzer working there. See, it's got all its own stickers. The uh, lips here on the door look good. We'll grab those keys so we can open up the trunk. Shut that buzzer off. Look down that quarter panel. Look how nice and straight it is. Look how nice the uh, door fits to the quarter panel. All right, let's get in the trunk got a, a spare tire wheel in there, got a fire extinguisher, the um, floor looks great, the wheel wells look great. Looks to me like uh, it's got its own original uh, quarters here. I don't see any evidence that they were replaced. The uh, paintwork on the bottom side of the trunk lid looks good. Got a good looking trunk rubber here. As you look down the side, look how nice and straight it is. Look how the door fits to the quarter panel. The door lips here look good. Rubber looks good. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. We spend the time, we check these babies out before we buy them. And then we've got an inspection report that the guys fill out. That way when you call Tom at 248-974-9513, Tom can take a look at that report and answer any questions you may have about the car. So make sure you give Tom a call. 
If you'd like an additional picture of something on the car, you want a close-up of something, call Tom. We'd love to get those pictures right out to you. Let's get in the interior and take a look. Take a look at that good looking door panel. Everything fits nice. Everything's nice and uh, beautiful. Good looking wood steering wheel. The dash pad looks good. It's got aftermarket gauges in it. The bucket seats are cool. Back seats in great shape. Headliner looks good. Even the dome lights working. Got your shoulder belts here. All right, we're underneath this 71 Nova now. It's beautiful under here. As you can see, the trunk floor is just gorgeous. The frame is nice and solid and gorgeous. Look, take a look at the drop downs. They're all nice and solid. It's got new springs on it, new shocks, new gas tank. It's got that uh, extra heavy duty uh, case cover there. Uh, those bolts tighten down to the caps and give it a little more reinforcing on that 12 bolt. It's got a posi in it. Guys rolled it over. It's somewhere in the 410 range uh, is what they're telling me. We've got an extra cross member mounted up here for the shocks. It's got a Flowmaster exhaust system on it. Looks real nice and solid. It's got Flowmaster mufflers. The uh, Drive shaft looks like it's uh, it's fairly new and it's aluminum. The U joint looks like it's in good shape. Um, looks like the uh, brake line's been replaced. This is one area on the frame that I always check out on all these uh, Chevrolets, where this is two pieced here. Try to tell me whether or not the frame was ever rotten. This frame looks like it's just beautiful shape. Um, added a sway bar to it. Of course, it's got the, um, these are similar to Caltrax traction bars. You can see they've uh, added this bracketry here and uh, hooked up those traction bars. Now I got fuel lines running front to back here. That's the AeroQuip line. The floorboards are beautiful. They look like they're all original to the car. Back sides of the rockers look good. Looks like the bushings on the uh, front frame here have been replaced. Got an O2 sensor here and the uh, right in the collector tube. Looks like that yoke on the back of that um, Turbo 400 is brand new. New U-joint up in there also. Got big tube headers. Good looking uh, oil pan here. Looks like it's uh, extra quart or so. Got a closeout panel. Looks like new ball joints, definitely a new spindle, new brakes, new rotors, new calipers, whole nine yards. Uh, it's got a, uh, a um, stainless steel uh, braided flex line here going to the caliper also. Got a great big old sway bar tucked up in there. Looks like the front bushings here and the lower control arms have been replaced. The front frame um, noses here are on both in nice shape. Doesn't look like the car was ever in any kind of accident or anything. The core support's in good shape. The core supports are one of the things on the cars that rot out real quick. It's like a little shelf up in there. Moisture and dirt gets up in there and uh, rots them out. This one looks original to the car and in awesome shape. Back side of the uh, bumper, there's a little uh, plating. It says replated in 88, 12, 20, 88. So that bumper was brand new in 1988. Well, let's lower it down, or before we do that, we'll take a look at these uh, wheels and tires. We got the Weld lightweight rims. Uh, good looking tires here. Uh, what size are they? Little skinnies. 165, 80, 15s up front. 
One of the other things I always look at when I'm looking at cars is I try to get up in the front fenders here. You can always reach up in there. This is always a spot that goes bad on these old cars. And one of the nice things is you can get your hand up there and feel around. The back side of the uh, fender here is all good metal, nice and smooth back there. And it looks like somebody's added stone guard to the bottom of these rockers. The rockers are straight as an arrow. You can also see spot welds here. That tells me that there's no filler or anything in there because you can still see all those spot welds. Of course, this is the business end here. This is where the rubber meets the ground, where the traction takes place. So we got a lot more meat back here. Can't find the size on here. There, there. 255, 70, 15. Same lightweight um, aluminum wheels. Looks like those drums are brand new too. Take a look there, you can see all the spot welds where they spot welded that uh, trunk drop down to the quarter. So you know that's all original metal right there. Really nice solid car here. Well now we'll lower it down and take a look at that big horse under the hood. All right, we're under the hood of this baby now and I tell you, my favorite part, uh, you guys that watch these videos know I'm all about the horsepower and this thing's got it. Uh, it's got to be well over 400 horse. I, and, uh, you'll see it when we're driving it, 30, 40 mile an hour roll, punch this thing, and it just lights the tires right up. Now it's got something cool underneath here. Of course it's got uh, the MSD ignition system on it. And it's got the MSD throttle body fuel injection on it. Uh, that's where a lot of that power is coming from. This thing just runs awesome. It works awesome. Got a bunch of chrome under the hood. I tell you, pull into any car show, pop the hood of this baby. You're going to be winning trophies. Not to mention uh, doing some burnouts for everybody. You uh, enter some of the burnout competitions. It sounds awesome got beautiful paint on the inner wheel wells here and the firewall. Take a look at that booster and master cylinder all chromed up. Now the car does have power steering. Looks like the alternator bracket and the alternators all chromed up. Now this is the 6AL box. This is what runs the ignition and then that's the uh, box that runs the fuel injection. You got that big old Excel coil putting the fire to the uh, distributor. It's a MSD distributor back there also. Now this is a fuel regulator for the um, fuel going to the carburetor. The uh, fuel pump is back there in the back. Good looking headers on it. It's got the big tube headers. It's got real nice stainless steel braided hoses uh, running to the heater. This car is beautiful under the hood. I absolutely love it. It drives awesome. This is a real hot rod here, guys. It's not going to last long here. We have a lot of people looking for Novas. We don't run across nice Novas very often. And uh, this is definitely a super car here. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales put this dream in your driveway. Let's take this Nova for a ride. It's running awesome. It's got all kind of power. We've got fuel gauge here, aftermarket, voltage gauge, RPMs, um, speedo. It looks like that's the oil pressure, water temp. The uh, fan is working on the heater. The uh, wipers are working there. The radio does come on and it's playing music, but I'd rather listen to those mufflers out back. Power steering works great. Going through these curves real nice and easy. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're shipping experts. We can ship this baby anywhere in the world. Just give us a call. Of course, that uh, big block up there is uh, putting out a lot of horsepower. You can just about burn the tires off of this thing anytime you want. 
We're going to whip it around here and show you what the turning radius is like. Take a look at that. Now we'll do just a little speed run here. Like I said, you can break the tires loose whenever you want. This thing's a blast to drive, guys. We'll go through a look, go through these curves a little bit faster. Show you what the handling's like. Whips right through here, no problem. Get on the straightaway here. No hands on the wheel. Hitting the brakes. No hands on the wheel still. Nice and straight. Now we hit the accelerator. Woo! Look at that. Like I said, this thing's a blast to drive. So give us a call or come visit us. We're right outside the Motor City here in Plymouth, Michigan. Here's our hot rod shop right here. 15100 uh, Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So give us a call and let Vanguard Motor Sales put your dream in your driveway.